Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more The Evil Within. When we last left off, we were about to confront Laura, I do believe. We've thrown that switch. Uh, yeah, I think we're more or less good to go. Alright, now, you we can actually kill um, Laura here. But there's no point, because she'll just come back in the next section anyway. Hello you. Trouble. You're going to give us a lot of trouble as well, aren't you? Okay. That's not fantastic. Can't grab the shells. That's disappointing. Okay. Now, I would actually like to disable some of these. Come on, big man. Throw that switch. Right, we'll have you. I will have you. And now, let's think about this. What we've got to do is basically just bide our time. Oh, hello. Hello. Wait for the uh, burning valve to actually go out. Come on. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Now, obviously, we can um, injure her and stuff like that with the valve, but to be honest... Oh, God. Hello. She's got us. Yeah. To be honest, there's, like, no real point in doing it. So, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're probably going to get our, our head stomped in quite a few times here. Um, you know, that's that's evil within, I guess. Um, yeah, we're gonna just have to redo this section many, 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 many times, I, I feel. But, let's keep going. Yeah, alright, Sab, we know, dude, we know. We know, buddy. Run. Just keep running, 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 just keep running. Okay. Right, let's throw the switch. Grab you. And hope for the best. Now, I can't remember how many switches we actually have to throw. I think it's like three or something. Oh, there's where she spawns from. I don't really, to be honest with you, want to waste the ammo on her. Well, oh, she's coming back that way. All right, Laura. Calm down. Damn it. Burn, damn you. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's grab the gel and get the fuck out of here. Onwards and upwards. Alright, cool. So, hello Laura. You're gonna continue being a bitch, aren't you? I'm gonna creepily crawl your way around. Uh, that's fine. Right, let's throw the old switch here. There we go. I don't know how long this actually takes to burn out. Too long really. Um, here she comes. Whoop. Come on, Laura. There you go. The trouble is, we don't really have any way of dealing with her nonsense now. Okay. We're free. That's it. Run, Sab. Run. Uh, through here, I guess. Oh, that's not fantastic. There was a switch here somewhere. That's okay. You're doing all... Oh, checkpoint. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Now, I think this is where we actually can kill her. You're going to want to burn the bodies. 
because as we know with Laura, these um, bodies are extra lives for her. And that's not really gonna fly with us, to be honest. Not happy with that at all. Alright. So now we play the waiting game. What's our shotgun like? Shotgun's fine. Didn't know whether we had to reload it or what. Oh, Laura, where are you? Really? Ah. Hang on a minute. Is there more valves to shoot? Uh, I'm going to assume... Yes, there is. There we go. Ah, excellent. Yeah, this is where we... Is this the final battleground? Possibly. We can't burn all of the bodies. Yeah, there's another one over there. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, unless there's some more matches around, which I don't believe there is. Oh, what we could do. Is there any other way we can burn that body? Uh, don't believe so. Alright, whatever. I'm not sure why she hasn't actually appeared yet. Be honest. Now, if I try and disarm that, am I going to die? No, apparently not. So, aha. There we go. That's actually a very sneakily hidden bomb there. Like, incredibly sneaky. Sneaky sneak. So where's Laura? She should be attacking us. Surely. Alright, well, uh... Oh. I'm not going to complain. But she's... It, wait, did that glitch? That gl did that glitch? We was. Who do you think you are? I know who you are, Seb. I know what you crave, what you fear. Will you be able to live with yourself knowing what I'm going to make you do? Poor little Joseph couldn't. Too bad they dragged you into this. But either way, you're mine. To do with as I please. Uh, yeah, okay. Somehow, we skipped the Laura fight. Which, potentially you can do, but 
she's still f uh, she still appears <laughs> like all right I'd... all right cool game I mean I'm not complaining I was expecting that to be some serious shit I mean I guess we missed out on all the gel for killing her which is fine because we can't use the gel shit back here again shit yeah hmm well we got her, her arms anyway so now I can't remember if that means if she's like dead and gone now um not sure well, we're here, but I think um, everything has gone a little bit strange. <coughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm genuinely confused about the whole Laura not spawning. Is it because we burnt the bodies? But we still left one of the bodies, though. So... Uh, okay. Maybe we burnt the bodies in such a way that a sequence broke. Map fragment. Yeah, okay. We've also... Hmm. Okay. We missed a key. My notes say we should have found a key. Yeah, I think we missed it, but it doesn't matter. It's only a key. Um, right. Well, let's have a little look around. Can't go through there. Can't go through there. I don't think we can explore anywhere here. No. I think we just... We're overlooking the elephant in the room. Can we go through her? Nope. I don't even know if we can go to the save room. Oh, that's a bugger. Yeah, missing that key. Oh, well. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure we might have missed other keys anyway, to be honest. I don't think we've missed many if we have, but... Yes, there was a key. It was before you get into the elevator. Ah. Oh, well. Right. Not much going on here. Last time we were here, we had to fight that blood beast. He seems to have gone full circle. Leslie. Doc, what the hell do you think you're doing? Trying to save us. Really? Because it looks like you're making another monster to me. I don't have time for this, Detective. Neither do I. <sighs> Leslie has been here before. And made it back. He survived being linked to Ruvik. The only patient ever, as far as I know. Wonderful. What does that have to do with any of this? He's our way out, Detective. Our only way back. It should have. Why didn't it? 
Well, that's bad. That's it. That's why. Doctor, run. He wants the same thing as us. He he wants out. Yeah, well the trouble is, he can't get out. Unfortunately, um, Ruvik is, well, a little bit more connected than the rest of us. Alright. Hey! I know you are. Listen to me, goddammit! Hello. Alright. Alright, I'm coming. Fuck. <laughs> Look, are you still going to be jibbing on with your nonsense? Ruvik must be really pissed now. Breaking a stem terminal? Never thought he'd go that far. Wait, stem? Oh, he must be close if he's severing ties with the past. All he has left is his connection to the present. The full stem in the hospital. Hospital? Beacon Mental Hospital? That's where he'll be. Waiting for him. If somebody doesn't get there first, there'll be no way out for anyone! Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so he's breaking stem terminals. Oh, hello, Nurse. An odor of blood about me. Well. Could be worse things one could smell of. Uh, investigation uncovers uh, irregularities at mental hospital. Situation more complex than thought. An internal audit at Beacon Mental Hospital suggests patients missing. Chief of Staff uh, Marcelio Jimenez cites clerical errors. Missing staff, you say? All right. And now, uh, of course, Jimenez is missing because he's dead. Squished. At least I'm pretty sure he's dead anyway. Um, missing uh, Marcel Jimenez, chief of staff uh, of Beacon Mental Hospital. Last seen in his office where he made a number of telephone calls. So, yeah. Um, the doc. He was kind of a git. He knew a lot more of what's going on. Uh, you know, he was... Uh, Ruvik's partner in crime with all the experiments. I think he's like kind of a little bit more moral than Ruvik. Oh, we don't have any keys. Ah, that's unfortunate. But that's not saying much. Even uh, Jimenez kind of got a little bit scared at what Mr. Ruvik was up to. Anyway. That's enough here. Let's go. That is everything we can grab, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Explosive bolts. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a pisser. I was kind of hoping to get all of the uh, keys, but yeah, whatever. Pretty sure we did that uh, in our last run anyway. All right. Oh, yeah. This next bit. This next bit is spicy. That's it. Hello. Giant amalgamation of flesh and viscera. Yeah, so this guy, I guess he's actually going to turn up. Because otherwise that would be a little bit awkward. Ah, oh, matches. Wonderful matches. Some Oh, three bolts. Not bad. Or three parts, I should say. 
Okay, we're all loaded up there. Let's go. Hello. No need to get that touchy and feely. Be seeing you in a minute, me laddo. He's a big boy, that. <laughs> he is a big boy. At least we're out of that, like, <laughs> Silent Hill-esque area. Oof. So this bit is going to be rough. All right. I'm on the way. Jeez. Good Lord, man. Yeah, it is the parking lot bit. Yeah. All right. Um. Best way to fight this guy. Oof. Because we don't have much. There is a lot of like weapons and ammo and stuff. So. God damn it. God damn it. This this is just a simple shoot the monster till it dies affair. Checkpoint. Alright, let's do this. Now, this guy is really fast, from what I remember anyway. Like, really fast. Oh, here he comes. Hello. Okay. He doesn't quite hurt as much as I thought he would. Which is nice. don't know if that actually did anything, mind you. Oh, he's throwing those barrels at me. A little bit naughty. Ow. Probably want to stand back from him a little bit. But we've lost all of our health. Ooh, sab. <laughs> Evasive maneuvers. Or you will be chunked. Okay. We, <laughs> yeah, we got chunked pretty hardcore there. Um, oh, he's got a big eye. Damn it. Really didn't want to waste that. Oh, that hurt. That hurt as well. Come on, we've got nowhere to manoeuvre here. Yep, we're dead again, I think. Oof, chunked. Yeah, uh, with such little stamina, this is going to be...
Well, thank fuck for that. <laughs> okay, change of tactics was needed. Good lord, sir. Well, he wasn't that bad, really. Just uh, took a little bit of experimentation. Ah, and there's all these goodies in there that we can't get now. Ah, that's so sucky. Why would you do this to me, man? Why would you cut me off from precious supplies in such a way? It's got to be said, so far, um, the bosses in this game are a lot of fun. They are kind of different. And I can appreciate that. You know, apart from Laura, which, okay, you could probably argue that, you know, she's basically the same thing over and over again. But at least they, you know, were a little bit creative. Uh, not just, is a big monster, shoot it till it dies. You know, there's a little bit more flavour going on than that. Right. Now, hopefully, that's all the goodies. I think I'll cut out a couple of those deaths, though. Just because there was a few. <laughs> Quite a few. <laughs> I mean, lots. Right. 20,000 brain gel. Not too shabby. I think a lot of the difficulty as well, uh, also, yeah, it looks like all of the items, it just comes down to the fact that um, Sebastian moves like a, a fat pig, really. Uh, very difficult to actually, you know, get him to react to your inputs. Especially simple things like changing weapons. Even that is just slow. And heaven forbid you go to line up a shot and you realise that you need to reload. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> but, you know, crusty game design. There's a lot of stuff here that we can't take, which is unfortunate. But, anywho, I think that's just about all the goodies. Can we destroy these? We actually can destroy those. Yeah, very salty about all the stuff that's locked behind those smashed rooms, but whatever. Chapter 10. Clear! Well, yeah, that was some shit, wasn't it? Jeez. I actually enjoyed that, though. That was fun. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a dick. But we got him. We got him. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to leave this one here. And when we come back, on to chapter 11. Till then, guys. Thanks for watching.